Dave, you have any guesses? I have no idea. Let's see if Dave's clueless. This is just Tom Cruise talking. That, you know, it does sound no, like no, Tom no, Cruise. No, no, no. It's not Tom Cruise. It's Tom Cruise just talking about his day. Okay, uh, can I get your name? Uh, Aaron, Aaron, what do you have to say? You have a guess? Aaron, yeah. Aaron. This is Network. Aaron, that is correct. Is it really? Another classic Aaron. film. Wow. Network. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you for the call. Yeah, yeah. Four seven nine one zero eight zero. Two one eight five seven two six. Okay, so now what, Billy? And that's it. How many one more than tainted beans? Uh, Dave was not pleased with that bit. That at was. All. That's okay though. We had a good fun. time with okay, it. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Neither, neither I can't believe beans. neither of you, uh, Cree or you, Dave. You didn't know any of the questions. Any of the oh, questions. I knew the questions. Uh, I just didn't I mean, know the, the answers. The movies. You didn't know any of the movies. I don't know right. why you would good. think that I would know anything know, about right? any, of those any of those movies. <laughs> well, that's why it's a game. I mean, what, was, what was the newest movie from, from 1965, Billy? No, Holy the cow, newest dude. movie was probably like uh, the 80s, you know. Jeez, 80s. man. What are you doing to us? That was a pear one, good one. Uh, Lion, pear-like. Dude, you're, you're, eating, tasty. you're just saying that because you don't want to admit that you, mm. you got a bad... There's no way you can statistically get it five... It was booger, but he likes it. Let's face I know, right? They've all been bad, but boogers. I'm pretending that they're just tasty. <laughs> he eats his own booger, so... Okay. I'm spitting them out. Um... <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. And how come you're not filming yourself Ew. eating it's these things? It's fine to eat your own boogers. Just don't this? eat other people's boogers. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, what how, is wh that? Why don't you uh, film yourself oh, eating Oh, that was these barf. Whew, whew, man. Ugh. Get it out of here. I don't want it. Can you smell it? Oh, no. Oh, oh don't. Oh, dude, I got to. I'm going to barf. Uh, Barf. Uh, no, that was please, yeah, Let come over out, here Billy. so Let you're in the out. feed. That was gross. <laughs> yeah, come over here so you're in the feed. Hey, are we still uh, on? Are we still streaming, Billy? Yes, we are finally. Uh, so people can see us. One strumming. slight technical difficulty, and now we are live streaming on YouTube. Flight 1080, everybody, uh, check it out. Let's and Cree Powell, the comedian, difficulty. is in here, and she's wearing a lovely outfit. And let's let's move on to. I want to hear about her character now. Okay. Because you got the cool outfit going on. All right. Cree. Hello. Um, my name is Jane Wayne Gacy. Um, some people might say that I'm John Wayne Gacy's daughter. Um, I like to think that I'm just John Wayne Gacy's second chance at life. Second so, chance at life? Are you reincarnated from John Wayne Gacy? Did he die? Um. Were you there? Oh, wait. I don't know. Is he still alive? I think he's dead. We should look it up, Dave. Wikipedia. I thought, it, I thought he was dead, too. Wikipedia, Wikipedia lies sometimes. Hmm. Is he still alive? John Wayne Gacy. Um, so, why, uh, so tell us more, um, Jane Gacy. I like that name. JJ. J he looks like he's still alive. Is he? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Cook County, in Illinois, so he's down in Chicago. Down in Chicago with the yeah. Blues Brothers, baby. <laughs> All right. Are you related to John Wayne Gacy? This is going to get weird, I Dave. I am John Wayne Gacy's progeny. Jane, I would say that, I mean, some people believe that John Wayne Gacy might have been executed or is in jail, but maybe John got some plastic surgery and started working out. And getting buff. Getting buff. Getting sexy. Got some A cup breast implants. <laughs> And, uh, a cup breast implants. <laughs> yeah, it just really went there. So, Dave, that's thoughts? Me. I am. Uh, I, I am amazed. Well, I had. You know, the thing is, I had some questions planned for the Miss KSU contest, but I, f I figure since we oh, go ahead uh, have one, yeah, we'll ask her, and she can. Uh, there are two questions really. But okay. It's what do you look for in a guy? There's a question. That's a great question. Yeah. Actually, that's a great question. Yeah. What do you look for in, in a mate? Uh, what I look for in a mate is um, hopefully a someone who is young, um, attractive, um, you know, like 14, 15 years old. Um, <laughs> That's not legal. Uh, someone who <laughs> maybe is interested in wrestling but not very good at it. Um, soft wrestling. A soft wrestler. I like that. Um, I like I like people that are stupid. Um, I like men that are stupid and boys. I like boys that are dead. Um, those are wait a minute. The that's, best ones. That's to getting date. into necrophiliac uh, territory, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> that's weird. You ought to see Dave's face on the live stream, everybody. You need to go to the um, uh, Flight 1080 YouTube channel to check I out. I like Dave's when they're alive mug. too, but I like when they're dead. 
Ah, okay. Well, um, uh, Jane, Jane Gacy here. Uh, how do you feel about uh, our current president, Mr. Trump? Who? Donald J. The man Trump. Uh, he's too old. Yeah, no, not interested. He's too Pass. old. Because you like young. Pass. Like, you'd be more, maybe, he, you'd he, like... He it, does well, wear a lot he, of makeup, that orange makeup that he wears, right? I mean, is that, that's got to keep That's not something. orange makeup. It, oh, no, I mean, like... a tan. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not interested in dating him, but we do hang out. Oh. Yeah, we've you been to... You hang out? The, yeah, I mean... Tr the Trumps? Yeah. What about that Baron? He's a, he's a young lad. He's a little too lad. young and a little too feminine. Feminine. Oh, you really? like a manly man. I like a manly fourteen-year-old ah. boy. I like a little hair. Now wait. Now look. Now you're looking at Dave. Now what? Uh, do you think that fourteen Dave was a, a very attractive? I had uh, more young, hair young back young then. I can tell you that. Um, other than that. But you must have looked a little. You didn't. Oh, look I was like, very dashing. Yeah, how, dashing. How dashing. How homeless dapper. were you at fourteen? Because I like that. <laughs> uh, not very. Not very homeless. Oh yeah, that's hard. It's hard to get the ones that aren't homeless. Yeah. Um, Are we getting any uh, texts or calls, Dave? Uh, we got Dave Did calling you? from Salinas. Dave and Sli from Salinas again, huh? Yeah. Let's take his call. Is it you? Are you calling? It's another Dave. No, it's a different Dave. It's an eight-second delay. Maybe That's you it. left and called. Dave, you're about to be on with Jane Gacy. <clears throat> yeah, I have a uh, a trivia question for a movie, a line from, let's see if you guys can get it. All right, cool. Go for it. Go for it. I can't give it the the whole thing, but it basically is get your dirty hands off me. Um. I mean, oh, is it the the, the Planet, Planet of, of the, the Apes? Apes? Yeah, Planet of the Apes, you, right? You I've never seen that. Perfect. Get your filthy hands off me, you stinky monkey, or something <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> no, you stinking ape. You stinking ape. Yeah. So I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. I there haven't go, seen Billy. that movie. Now, there's a classic, right? Now that's a classic. I hear that's a good one. I haven't seen it. Four seven nine one zero eight zero. No, not that one. Really? It's starring Charleston Chew. <laughs> but you have seen those other ones. Those are some of my favorites. Right. Classics, All Dave. Right. Absolute classics. I think he shops for movies like in the at the dollar bin. <laughs> yeah, at Seven <laughs> Eleven. Uh, we are here with Jane Gacy now. Jane Gacy, that is okay. correct. So, and she is the official winner of the. But there's only one person who walked in here, Billy. So what's going on? What happened? What just happened? That's her, Jane Wayne Gacy. Uh, is this like a split personality? I mean, no, I it's not split personality. This is that's her character. That's her. They're one and the same. I'm starting They're to get this now. It's like the showbiz thing. I'm starting to get this. Am right? I yeah. have to compete with Cree? No, no, she compete. left. She's out of here because uh, we don't. We're not doing that I don't right want to have to kill her. No, no, it's not going to be nothing like, like that. You have a beautiful clown one. wig and lovely makeup, and like I said, it's for oh, the my kids. Hair's a mess. Now, Dave, what do you think of Cree's outfit? You know, I feel I that think some. I think it's fantastic. I got one just like it at my house. Actually, Do you? I got one under, uh, just under these clothes, yeah. No. Yeah, absolutely. Leotard, no, skin no. tight. Now, tell us a little bit about your look, uh, Jane Gacy, there. How do you develop it? What, what is your inspiration for your look? Um, well, I know that teenage boys like naked women. Um, I've heard that. That's something Only teenage that boys. they... Mm. They... Um, teenage boys are less equipped to deal with the sight of a naked body than um, other people. So I figure um, the easiest way to get them to come to my house is to just walk around <laughs> naked. I think you're probably right. Yeah, I also, <laughs> I also, I work at Little Caesars, so that's another good way to find. Oh, uh, you're a mate. Friends. <laughs> Uh, four seven nine ten eighty. Aaron calling from Santa Cruz. You're I'm in the air. Aaron. Hey, yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah. I was just. I heard that she had some crazy pubic hair. Crazy pubic hair. Are you on the YouTube channel no, watching right now? Crazy it's public um, hair. You're not reading public. It. Pu You're not us. reading it right, sir. It's Thank natural. You. What? It's natural. Color. The colors are similar to the wig. There's uh, yellow, red, and the blue. Wait a minute. What are you talking about, Billy? What? Are you... What? She has a, she has her outfit on her costume, Dave. He's what do you mean? He's talking about my costume. You didn't see what she's wearing, Dave? I'm afraid to look, dude. Stand up and show us, uh, show? Jane Gacy, for the YouTube channel here. Your outfit. Yeah. How do you like oh, that, Dave? Holy. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Dave? Yeah. Wow. Um, it's part. Yeah. See, I think that's for the kids. <laughs> birthday parties? You do birthday parties? Is, is that right? I'll do... Do you have kids? Uh, yes, but do they don't have, have birthdays. Son? Yes. 
He doesn't have birthdays? He's 19 years old. He would probably <laughs> love, love that for a birthday party. Um, okay. Uh, Aaron? Multicolored. Multicolored. That is correct, Aaron. Multicolored. Okay, I, I nailed it down. I nailed it. You got it right. Um, 479-1080-218-5726. Check us out on YouTube. He probably drove by earlier. Yeah, you know, she was outside waving to uh, people in the parking lot, Dave. I was Is that why traffic was slowing down so much? It was. it was. I was reminding people to drink water by drinking water and standing on the side of the street naked. Well, she's not naked. She has got an outfit, have, leotard. Have, and, would you call that a leotard? It's a, it's a flesh-colored... Is that a leotard? What is that thing? That's a leotard, right? That's a bodysuit. It's a bodysuit. Oh, body yeah. And, um, yeah. I feel like leotards have yeah. sleeves. Do you feel nervous looking over at her, Dave? I'm not looking at her, Billy. I'm looking at you, <laughs> Okay, dude. okay, I'm, okay. I'm not okay. looking... Yeah. Um, now, Jane yeah. Gacy, uh, do you... Where do you perform? Uh, do you perform on. comedy, Jane Gacy, <laughs> right. uh, around here locally? Um... Um, we performed, uh, um, so DNA, you know DNA? Yes, I have, I have met him one, once or twice, yes. He has booked me, I don't get booked very often, but mm -hmm. he booked me to um, perform, and really it's kind of more like storytelling, just talking about my life, um, at the Last Late Show in the Santa Cruz Comedy Festival last cool. year. Cool, cool. So. Now, is that going to be going on again this year? Is uh, DNA going to be uh, starting that up? Is that happening? The festival yes. is definitely happening, yes. Oh, cool, cool. When, when is that happening? I believe that it's in November this year. Um, oh, nice. All right, we'll have to get DNA in, in there to talk about it because we've had some local comics, and uh, he kind of runs that scene. He does a great job. Uh, yes, he does a fabulous job. Um, he's a good dad, and everyone hates him. <laughs> Perfect. Dave, do you have any uh, callers on the line there? Uh, no. 4719, let's check text messages here. If anybody wants to send those in, they can. Um, <laughs> uh, these are all uh, about your, your movie trivia. Oh, I bet you, a lot of people knew it, huh, Dave? Knew the answers? Yeah, we should have checked them before, but uh, oh, people well. People were texting. Oh, well. We wanted to play really answers, long yeah. clips to get Dave irritated, and that's how that you, went. You did that But he's right. mellowed out now, everybody. Callers, it's the perfect time to call in because Dave is now relaxed and mellow. Okay, and Billy, so, so who do we have here? Uh, who's in the studio? Well, we you know we have Miss KSU going on today, and I, I, I tried to promote it as best I could, and we, uh, we have one contestant, Dave. So she wins by default. She wins right? by default, Miss and I'd like to thank her for coming in, and it's a lot of fun that she's here. I love the outfit; it's Jane Gacy. If you want, she's see, a local comedian. If, if you want to check it out, we're, we're streaming for the next five minutes, right? And the next five minutes, and uh, that is correct. And it, during, and actually, well, when we go to the break, Dave, we'll still be streaming because everything's working perfectly now. And we have the audio uh, in studio for mm. you know during commercial breaks. You can hear that, and make sure. It, please hit the uh, like and subscribe button uh, on YouTube there so you get a notification when Dave goes live. Now, are, is that um, actually paint on your face or is that a tattoo? And did you have it tattooed on, on your face? Oh, yeah. The, the black is tattooed on mm -hmm. and then I just fill it in with paint. It would make it easier if you just had it all filled in. Then you could just wake up and, and uh, get right to doing comedy. You don't have to mess with the, with the makeup. Yeah, but I have to work at Little Caesars, so I don't think that they would be down with the color. <laughs> They're okay with the lines. Right. Uh, 479 1080. We are here again with uh, Cree, or are we here with Jane? Jane, Jane Gacy. Jane Gacy. Middle name? Jane Wayne Gacy. Now, Jane are you Gacy. reincarnated? What, what's going on there? Yeah, are I you? wanted to figure that out. You were talking about that earlier. You mentioned it's, something about it's that. It's like a second life. Um, Maybe, like not reincarnation, but maybe, maybe he was given a second chance. Do you think you did, like you're possessed? Maybe Are you possessed she... by by the spirit of, of a man, uh, a, a notorious man who is not even dead yet? Do you think his spirit has left is him? Is he really and... not dead yet? I don't think I he's dead. I don't see that. his death. I thought he was. I don't... Oh yeah, he's right. He died in '94. Yeah. So maybe his spirit has left the grave and has taken over your your body. Is that you think what's going on? I feel like I've been. Jane Wayne Gacy my whole life. Um, even well, when I was John. Now, John slash Jane, I'm curious, you know, we were, I was talking to Dave the other day, we were talking about dreams, and you might have some uh, take on this, and uh, I have a lot of recurring dreams about the water and whatnot, and Dave, uh, specifically, he was telling me about his recurring dream, and boy, is it a good one. It's where he's, uh, you know, well, let's just say that... Uh, um, what? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, anyways, I figured yeah, out that the water. I figured out that water is, uh, you know, water it means that I'm a ner- nervous, anxious guy. I'm not no, okay, talk so, about so, okay, so okay, let me ask you, that, Jane. Why does that mean that? Um, I don't know. I saw it in a dream book. Okay, so uh, fine, Billy. It's got to be true, right? Oh, so you're just believing someone because they wrote a book? Well, I figure it's slightly more credible than the internet, but <laughs> I guess <laughs> even back in the day there was con it's men and con book. women, right? <laughs> 4719. Heather calling from Santa Cruz. You're in the air. Hey, Heather. Hi, Heather. Hey, I was just calling because I was eating pizza on the beach the other day, and it was from Little Caesars. And I'm just wondering if you guys put dog treats in the pizza because a dog came and stole all of my pizza, and I'm really concerned. Hmm. Yeah, we um, we use dog treats in the sauce. I think she was trying to say that the pizza is so tasty that dogs love it. But dogs will eat anything. They'll eat anything. <laughs> They'll eat poo. <laughs> oh, Thank yeah, the there's, poo, there's poo in there, too. Well, 4719, I don't think you have to put too much, uh, add too much to a pizza to get a dog to uh, to eat that whether you're on the beach or not. Uh, we're heading to a break, Billy. We only got 10 more seconds. Right. You're listening to AM 1080 KSEO Santa Cruz. Flight 1080 is back in the air. Billy Army hey, is everybody. joining we us here. on this edition. Flight 1080. As well as... We have Cree Powell. I want Also to known as Cree. Jane Wayne Gacy, local comedian. Known as both. Known as both. Right. Now, I noticed that you, you have... Um, uh, make, heavy makeup. I mean, I hope you don't mind me saying that. Uh, notice Dave, that's for makeup. everyday makeup. And, and um, you know, I keep looking at this Twitter page, and I see these these guys here who are being charged mm-hmm. with the ghost fire um, or the ghost ship fire in Oakland, and oh, they are right. incredibly ugly to look at because they have tattoos on their face. Do you mm-hmm. dig guys with tattoos on their face? Well, most of the guys that I find attractive aren't old enough to get tattoos. Ah, so, that's a good point. That is a very good yeah, point. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean... I'm curious to ask okay. you, Jane, uh, now that you have been, uh, you, will, you will be crowned the official Miss KSEO of 2018 because you participated. And sometimes it's showing up, you win, you know what I'm saying, Dave? And that is, I wanted to ask, well, you, well you're here, and that is, I had a question prepared, and that is, uh, uh, between uh, Dave and myself, who do you find uh, more attractive? What? Man. What? Okay, yeah, who, who is question. it? Who is it? Yeah. Uh, Phil. Who's Phil? The guy over there, the third guy. <laughs> oh, hi, Phil. <laughs> He's waving. Yeah. He's Am smiling I answering now. as Jane? Uh, I guess. You can answer as either one. I need to plug the uh, computer laptop in if we're going to lose the feed again. Oh, jeez, hold on a second. Four seven nine ten eight two one eight five seven two six. Let's see who uh, who's up next. Uh, Renee calling from Santa Cruz. You're in the air. Jeanne with a J. Oh, Jeanne. And then a goo, it, it's a, a goo over the first E. Ah, got it. A goo. Yeah, Jeanne. And a goo. Jean. Jeanne. Some people might read it as Jane. Oh, Jeanne. But you would say it, it's it Jeanne. It, it is Jeanne sauce J. Ah, Je. Oh, are wondering. you French, Jeanne? I am. I am are French. you from France? I have. I am not from France, but I have a French background, and I am wondering... Okay, do you have the Eiffel Tower behind you, or what does that mean, you have a French background? I I do have a poster (laughs) of the Eiffel Tower behind me, and I am am feeling that that I am in France. Okay. But I am wondering, it is the KSCO Miss Santa Cruz pageant. What is your idea of the ideal date? No, see, now there's a good good question, question, Billy, not like your dumb question. That was a thank hey. you, thank you, John A. That was a good question, John. Yeah, that is a good question. Yeah. Well, I can talk about I think one of my favorite dates. Um, I was driving around. Um, I passed by a bus stop, and I saw a young man. Um, I picked him up in my car, and I drove him around. I showed him all of the sights. I like to be in charge. I like to be in control. That's um, a, my kind of lady, Dave. And then I, uh, I, I told him that I was going to take him back to the bus um, so that he could catch his connecting bus. To oh, I like where the story is going, Dave. I ride the bus. Oh. But, um, but instead I brought him to my house and he spent the night and then um, in the middle of the night I choked him. Some people are into that, Dave. 
Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I got a, yeah, I got a boner. I, I, I thought that was going to be The beautiful be a, thing is, yeah. you know, Jane has such a, just a lovely face that everyone needs to go to the Flight 1080 on the YouTube channel to see it's how beautiful she really is. The last face you might ever see. Ah, it's so romantical. Flink, snap toss. You're in the air. Flinks, what's happening? Hey, hey, so wait, 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 wait. I think, I think I'm seeing Bigfoot right now. I, I see him in the fog like the trees, and I, I want to try to be quiet, but it's, it's really scary out here in the fog, and I can't tell if it's a tree or if it is Bigfoot. Oh, my God, I hang up. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, Flinks, Flinks. Uh, he's out of there. He's sailed Dead, right dude. out there. Flinks, man. He's one of our favorite callers. Well, right. another one bites the dust, Dave. Too bad it wasn't Billy Sunshine. I'm glad he's dead. Just kidding, Billy. We love you. We'll get another listener. We will. Absolutely. We'll, indeed. We'll find another one. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Any more, well, any more questions, Billy? Well, I mean, uh, she didn't answer that question yet. It was oh, about? hanging. About, you know, uh, which of the two, uh, between you and I. Who's oh, you really, wanna, you really want that answer, huh? Yes. Oh, yes, geez. I do, Dave. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. I mean, hard pass on both. You're uh, way too old. <laughs> good answer. Good, yeah, good answer. Very good. Like I like that. I like that. 50 years older than my target. 50 I, years I like older? Uh, Man, we must look terrible. Dave, we've been staying out in the sun too long or something. We're, our skin's getting leathery. <laughs> and it looks like we got somebody else uh, on Flight 1080 on the line and possibly here to talk to Jane Wayne Gacy. Uh, William calling from Santa Cruz. You're in the air. William, what's going on? Hi, hey, I just want to see where, like, what is Cree's favorite date in the world? Like, where does she like to, where, where does she like to go at night? Ah. In Santa Cruz. Oh, in, San, in Santa Cruz. At night? Oh, my God. Cree. Okay. Sir. You're, you're asking for it. So this is a similar question to the so, last one, but it's more like where does she like to hang out in the evening times? Right, and it's Cree. So um, I like to go to <laughs> open mics <laughs> and comedy shows. There you go. There you go. That's an ideal date I, for me. Four seven nine ten eight. I think Jane would say uh, uh, the ideal date is the place to go is where they can't hear you scream, right? Uh -huh. some, some, somebody like something like that would be. Like, I have this a, is I Dave have getting into space. it now. I like it. I have a crawl space. You have a? Do you really? Yeah. A crawl space? How big is it? You know that it? phrase? Uh, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I do. Uh, do you know what a drunk teenage boy would do for a piece of fried chicken? Oh dear! Uh, no, I'm afraid to ask. Oh dear! Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six DM at KSCO dot com. Oh, Dave, yes, it's sir. It's so wonderful. The shot of you and she's behind you and she's just smiling devilishly, Dave. I think she likes. Is she you. gonna murder me, Billy? I'm no, gonna, I'm not Dave, gonna look, dude. No, of course I'm not gonna look. Is she gonna kill me? No. Okay. Nothing like that's going to happen, Dave. Do we have another right. caller? Uh, no, no. The oh. Lines are clear. If you want to get on board, now's the time to do it. Four seven nine ten eighty. All right. Well, um, now's the time to do it. I Jane, love Axe body spray. Jane, what, what is one of your? Um, Axe body spray smells so good. Axe body spray. Oh, that's yeah. that's for the the men like that, right? It's an aphrodisiac. Hmm. I don't know if I uh, if I've ever, I I've seen the commercials for it. Those are very popular, mm. and I think, um, but I've never tried it. Never tried yeah, that. just just. Just uh, just coat yourself in Axe body spray. Is that the Head key? Do you think that's the key for all of our single uh, of male, for all of our single male listeners out there right now? We have uh, Jane Wayne Gacy. Mm, hi. And you can check her out Are on you, YouTube, Flight 1080 channel. The sun. Now, now, Jane, what do you think for those single, those single men out there in our audience? Um, they're having a hard time meeting the ladies. What's what? Do, what's some tips you can give them? Uh, as to maybe how they could uh, have better odds with the ladies? Well, um, you could uh, go on to dating websites and say that you are gender non-binary. I think that might Gender non-binary? To some ladies. Is that right? Sure. Why not? Try, try everything, right? Now, what type of dating websites are, are out there are available? I, I'm sure you're on all of them because uh, of what you do. Uh-huh. What are some of your favorites? You like that? Uh, I, I have some fr uh, a recent friend who was divorced. I think he's going to be on the air at some point here. Mm -hmm. But he's uh, on that OK Cupid mm -hmm. one. I hear that's a pretty popular one. Do you like that one, Jane? I mean, I like Tinder. Tinder is and a popular one. Grinder. Grinder. I don't know that one. Do you know that one, Dave? Grinder, and that dating app. No, I don't. Is that, is that sounds like some kind of nasty thing going well, on? Well, there. there's so many. There's like I was saying before, OK Cupid and 
Grinder I'd not heard of. No. You know, back in the day, back in the Someone uh, should call in and tell ago. them what Grinder is. Listeners. Someone should. Yes, please call us and tell us what it is. Oh, you know, I've tried uh, dating some of those dating apps and uh no responses. Much like the Miss KSEO contest. Just, uh, yeah, you, no need, respons- you need one where there's <laughs> no, no right picture. Swipes. There's no picture or, I or think description. It's, I, I hate to say it, but at the end of the day, I think it's just my face. Um, Let's see what, I think it's Timmy or Jimmy. Or it could be. Timmy or Jimmy. Uh, you you're are in the air. In the air. Hi, yeah, I was just, I mean, my favorite things in the world are candy and pizza. I want to know what, I think it's Cree? Cree, what is your favorite candy and slash pizza? Ooh, um, Mambas and uh, any pizza, whatever pizza is in front of me. So is Little it a meat Caesars, or a the Little Caesars pizza? lunch special, a fish pizza. Uh, meat or vegetarian? Um, meat, but just pepperoni. Like, don't go crazy. Don't put a bunch of stuff on there. Yeah, and we don't want vegetables. camel meat. You're not a fan like... of the, the meat lovers pizza where they put like three and a half pounds of different meats and cheeses on it. And I want to be able to hold the pizza in my hand and like bite into it. Four seven nine one zero eight zero. Any kind of I meat eat... that you wouldn't accept on there? Like, um, I don't know, ham, camel meat. I don't know. There's a lot of it's... meat I don't like on, I'm not, on pizza. I'm not a fan actually. of Canadian bacon. I like yeah, I, I'm yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care for that either. That weird Canadian bacon. Um, I just don't like a, a bunch of stuff on, on my pizza. You care for the more simple, uh, yeah. more simple, a couple Pepperoni of, couple cheese, of toppings. Just mushrooms, something like that. I'm not uh, trying to make a mess. I eat it in my car a lot. Four, seven, eight. should we take these calls, Billy? Yes, Dave, absolutely. Uh, uh, against my better judgment, Mike, you're in the air. <laughs> hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Dave, it's your buddy Mike here. Yes, Mike. sir. What's happening, yes. buddy? Hey, uh, you know, um, I friend. just want to congratulate Gene on being the first uh, 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 Miss KSEO. That is a real honor, Gene. Absolutely. You know, and she set that, the bar high with her with her beautiful, you know, how she's dressed today. It's wonderful. And, and, and you know, there will never be another first Miss KSEO. You are one person, correct. Think, would you be, I mean, he sounds like a looker, Mike. Would you, I mean... Mike, is, uh, well, is there is there a type year. of voice that you're looking for, Cree or, or Jane? Is this type of? I mean, he sounded pretty sexy to me. I would think. I mean, a, a very high pitched voice, probably. Hi there. Uh, What's going on? Uh, yeah. I think it's. I don't know if it's Ombus. You're Ooh, in the air. Wow, that's a cool name. Bumbus. Bumbus, you're in the air. Bumbus. Bumbus. That's not as cool. I just want to say the best side to go on to date the ladies is the Plenty of Fish. It's free. Ah, plenty of Fish. That's another fish. one I haven't heard 479-1080-DM at KSEO.com. Uh, Dave, read it. I don't know if that's it. true. What? Oh. <laughs> Dave, read the text. Are you what, looking at the text? No, no, no. Oh. I was looking at something else. Let me see. I'll you're read getting, the text, though. If we get, if we get like them, I'll read them. Getting excited. Um, Millionaire Matchmaker is another good dating site. Is that really a, a Is that a legit one? Is that like obviously a sh- you guys aren't in? I guess no, definitely not. Is that like even close to being a millionaire? Sugar, sugar um, baby do- or sugar, sugar babe, baby. right? Where they're looking for you know sugar daddies or something like I've that. I've never heard of You've any never of these websites. Come on, man, you're not hip. No, I'm afraid I'm not a, I I, one of those people. I don't know. If that's, I, I, I think your that's, definition uh, of hip is that I'm out of the I, loop. I, I think I. Uh, I think I've heard that before. I think it's where millionaires meet other millionaires so that they can marry each other's money. Oh. So they don't accidentally, like, fall in love with somebody and, uh, and risk exactly. uh, sharing their assets with a right. poor person. Um, yeah, that would just be a horrible thing to have yeah. to do, wouldn't it, Dave? It's just... Sure. Sharing. Ugh. Yeah. Four seven nine ten eighty. Uh Let's see what Johnny has to say. You're in the air. Johnny. What's going on? Hey, I was wondering if... Cree had a boyfriend. Mm. So she sounds awesome. She, is she probably awesome. killed them all. She's no, she's doing really good. Does she? What is she single or what? No. No. Uh, Cree is not single. No. Jane Cree's is. Cree's not single. No. Cree has a boyfriend. Cree has a boyfriend. No. So back off. Well, I... <laughs> oh come on. Just because I. Just because I look like I don't have a boyfriend and just because my boyfriend doesn't exist doesn't mean he's not real, okay? No, no does he... I think, I think Cree is, has room for a boyfriend, and a, another boyfriend. Oh, no. yeah, I could definitely take on a couple more boyfriends. Oh, okay, okay. But cool. I do have so, a boyfriend. 
But you, but you can you can have another one though. Well, I don't want to just do one. It, it's either one or like four, right? Like if it's just two, then you're cheating. So as long as it's more than a couple, then you're good. Yeah, if you and like three of your friends are sixteen-year-old boys. Um, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That, that is yeah. perfect. Yeah. We're fine. We're good. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your well, call. Four seven nineteen. Johnny. How's Johnny calling from? Good one, Johnny. Uh, yeah, good call. Um, there. That was a good call, right? right yeah, there. it was excellent. Yeah, it was yeah. a fantastic He's talking call. Talking to to Cree, not Jane. Uh, now, now, is your boyfriend um, also heavy on the makeup too? Is he into to like guy liner and and that mm. kind of stuff? Um, okay, sorry, this is confusing. Mm. Um, I'm Cree, so <laughs> Cree, Cree. Uh, I'm sorry, Cree. yeah. Um, no, he isn't. He is Asian, so he's naturally beautiful and does not ever need to wear makeup. Oh. Yeah. Now, nice. out of all of the Asian ethnicities, who do you feel is the most uh, beautiful? Uh, would it be the Korean, uh, Japanese, Taiwanese, Filipino? This is a gross conversation, first of all. But I would say that Hmong probably is best. Hmong? Yeah. I've never heard that uh, term. Have you, Dave? <laughs> I think she made it up. Did you just make it up? No, I don't know. Mong. I don't know. I don't know. Mong. Yes, no. Okay. Well, the movie Grand Torino. I love that movie, Dave. It's one of my favorite Clint Eastwood movies, actually. I think it's. Probably... <laughs> oh, you didn't bring a four-minute clip of it. I'm going to do that next time. Yeah, Dave is so irritated just with that. Clint Did the Eastwood audience? I want to hear if the audience driving. enjoyed that. I think the audience. The audience thinks it, those clips are too long, Billy. That's what the audience thinks. <sighs> it's because nobody has an attention span in America anymore. What? That's the problem. <laughs> Uh, okay, what, what else are we going to do, Billy? What else are we going to get on? on, on I don't know. I mean, we can talk about whatever we like. I mean, uh, Anybody I have any hear... questions for our guest, Cree yes, or Cree, Jane? But I want to hear from Jane Wayne Gacy. And I want to hear well, what she's been doing, what's going on, and, and uh, what's happening. That's what I'd like to know about. Is Jane going to be appearing anywhere upcoming? Um, your dreams? Oh. Not in my His dreams, because my dreams have been really, really bad, man. Somebody, That's probably somebody. That sounds like a place for going. me. <laughs> that sounds like a place for her, exactly. I don't know. I don't know, Dave. I don't know about this dream. This is weird. Uh, do, what, what, do, you, do you have weird dreams? Do I have weird yeah, dreams? Yeah, yeah. Well, do you have weird dreams? <laughs> yes. Um, actually, I, I have a lot of really mundane dreams. Uh, but, like, I'll dream and the climax of the dream or whatever is that I'm like about to take a bite of pizza or someone's like handing a me weird. a stick of gum hmm. That's and a then weird. I wake up and I'm mildly disappointed but only mildly disappointed <laughs> yeah well pizza sometimes I'm more than mildly disappointed but would you say that pizza is your favorite food pizza is my favorite person oh you're gonna have to explain that one it's just better than people better than most people, people are I, I agree it really yeah because really you know loves what me. like every time we get that we, we get like a, we get mountain like mike snowy did. alps pizza in here and i prefer that far today Pe people uh Definitely. scream when you bite them right pizza doesn't yeah that's right? true um yeah um man you guys have a lot of common you should hang out dave i told uh, you this was gonna go uh, great jason is calling from so what's happening you're in the air okay okay listen if you're listening on the air and you're going to call in. Please turn your radio off. You got an eight second delay. He wants to hear delay. himself. Okay, Jason, you're in the air. Where is Cree going to be performing next? Where am I going to be performing next? What's today? Friday. Today's Friday. Friday. And she sounds really funny. Where where can I find her next? She is going to check. She's checking her uh, notes here, and she's going to let you know quite shortly. It looks like. Keep it tuned in, and, and uh, we'll let you know. Come see me at Bruno's in Scotts Valley last Sunday. Last Sunday awesome. funnies. Yeah, okay, I'll be see there. Me there. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bruno's in Scotts Valley. Wait a minute. You're going to be in Bruno's last Sunday? Last Sunday of every month. Oh. Yeah. Come see yeah. me in the past. It sounded a little weird at first when she said it. But... Yeah, just come see me last Monday. I was thinking, wow, that's kind of, you know, you have to get into a time machine to so do that. So that's where you regularly at? Last Sunday. Hmm? That's where you're regularly at? Yeah, we have a monthly show there. Cool. So I, yeah. I host it. Usually. Oh, nice. Now, how many people show up there? I mean, how, how many comedians show up? Uh, we usually have about 10 comedians on the lineup, oh. and we have... I'm not sure if that's going to be the case forever, but that's how we're doing it right now. And then we have um, about 50 audience members, wow. paying audience members. And Bruno's that's is awesome. Good they have a beautiful patio. You can go smoke. You can go up on the second-story patio and smoke a cigarette. 
um, if that's what you want to do. Um, they have a bar upstairs. They have a bunch of TVs, so you can just leave the comedy show and watch hockey <laughs> if you want. <laughs> it's pretty cool. The last cool. Sunday of uh, this is the Bruno's up in Scotts Valley, or, yep. or? yep. Okay, Bruno's well that's easy Scotts to remember, Valley. and it's called last last Sunday. Last Sunday funnies. Last mm -hmm. Sunday funnies. I like that. That's yeah. cool. Um, two one eight five seven two six four seven nine one zero eight zero. Flight ten eighty. Dave Michaels and Billy Army, and we have uh, Miss KSEO. The winner is here with us. The champion. And that is uh, Cree Powell, a local comedian, Bay Area comedian. You guys need to check her out. Hey, Cree, do you have a Facebook page or anything you want to promote? Let our audience know about um, where you're going to be, uh, stuff like that, anything like that? I'm on Facebook. Um, my name is Cree Powell. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Cree Pow Pow. Um, but I don't care if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. I only pretty much tweet at Doug Benson because I'm trying to get him to come to Santa Cruz. That would be great, man. Right? That would be Very fantastic. Cool. Okay. So, listeners of this radio program, please tweet at Doug Benson and tell him to come to Santa Cruz because I've been tweeting at him, and then all of the comics that have come through that have like performed with him, like we had Brooks Wheel in, in town. He said he he would mention it to him. Um, Amy Miller and Chad Opitz, who are regulars on the Doug Loves Movie podcast, they both said that they would mention it to him. We had Jeff Tate in town recently. He's also on his podcast all the time. So we're really trying to get we're like we're like your buddies are coming here why don't you come here it, isn't that weird that he's not here like that he does doesn't perform here well it's just going to take some time to get him out here and i'll uh, see how great it is yeah I'll make it happen that's an awesome idea i love it four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six let's break for headlines phil d seth is looking for something to do so we're going to give it to him he's got your headlines remember to check out kseo.com for news traffic weather podcasts and more it's all right there kseo.com if you don't believe me check it out for yourself tonight or tomorrow 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's ready for you to check it out. Here's Phil. 4791080, you're listening to flight1080kseo.com. We are in the final stretch. Billy Army hey, and, uh, Cree, Cree and, and Cree Powell and Jane Wayne, Wayne Gacy. Gacy joining us today. Jane. Jane Wayne Gacy, right? Or is it Jane... Gacy, just Jane, Jane Gacy. Jane Wayne Gacy. All right. Jane Gacy. Uh, if you have any questions for our guests, you can give us a call, 479-1080. Where are we going now, Billy? Well, Dave, do we get any more uh, texts? Uh, let's see if we have any questions for our guests. Um, <laughs> what, Dave? What? 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 Read it. Can I read this? Yes. Yeah, it's a moron. Let's read uh, the moron text. Pretending to be gay can get hot chicks to try to get you in the sack. Pretending to be gay can get hmm. hot chicks to yeah, try to get you in the sack. Yeah, that is a, um, an idiot. That's, that's not a well-thought-out plan, right? Sounds like. I would say that it's probably true, and it probably goes on, and I don't uh, That's a person think that it's a thinks idea. that women are stupid. Right, and, it's not um, a good idea. Yeah. Uh, you're garbage, whoever you are. Mwah. She said it first here Pretend on Flight to be 1080. Gay can get hot chicks to get you in the sack. To I, try to get you in. So it's like so they you can try to convert to be you. Gay so that women can try to convert you. Um, I don't want to have sex with gay men. Like that's <laughs> that not sense. like why would you want to have sex with somebody that's not turned on by you? That's not an appeal. How could you situation. do that, right? Like that's, uh, yeah, that's. that's two, what an idiot sounds like, you guys. Two one eight five seven two six DM at KSCO. Dot com. Billy, you want to yeah. tell us about yeah. your dream? Pretending to be gay. I've told, didn't I tell you about my dream the last no, time? You we told me, but you didn't tell the audience. Uh, well, I, you know, you've spoken about, maybe you'll tell your dream at some point. It's a very stressful, ongoing dream that you have, Dave. Right. But I have something similar to that, and uh, I stopped having the dream uh, you know, a while back. But for years, I think it went on, and it was like that I had uh, robbed like a bank, like this vault, like a really complicated, like I would got in there and I tunneled in and I was in the vault and all this money and I got away with it. But then months went by and then all of a sudden like the police were coming around my house and everything. They're knocking on the door, you know, and they knew it was me. And every time I have the dream, it would it would be like a plot. It would just be further and further in the plot. I, and I always felt they were getting closer and closer to me, Dave. Shouldn't you be having dreams like you went to the improv and killed it? You, you, you I've, slayed them? You know Is that what funny? they say? They, I've never had a dream about them? doing stand-up comedy, ever. You killed. I've I never had either. one. Never had a dream doing stand-up comedy. Really? It. No, I never had that dream. Never, ever, ever. Huh. Just the weird, uh, something about robbing a bank and... Cops are getting closer and closer every day. That's definitely weird. Really. Yeah, it was stressful. But I stopped having them. So thankfully, Dave, you know, 
I'm letting you know that you'll probably stop having those dreams eventually. Good. Probably. Good. Yes. Uh, 218 DM at KSEO.com. How about you, Creed? Do you ever have any strange dreams? I had a strange dream that ended with a pun, and then I woke up. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember what it was. It ended with a pun? Yeah. That's unusual. In the dream, we were, like, walking around in this neighborhood, and I think we were, like, driving our cars down a sidewalk because whatever, and um, it was very hilly, and we, like, almost hit a homeless man with our car, and then I was trying to explain to him why we were driving the car down the sidewalk, and he said something dismissive, and it was, like, a pun. I, I feel like it might be written in this book, but it was like, it was basically him just being like, I don't care, or like you're an idiot or whatever, but, and then I just like woke up, like the rim shot was me waking up. <laughs> I was like, huh. you know, all right. I, I never write down um, my dreams, never write down the funny things that I think of, and I do think of some funny things, but I never, ever write them down. Yeah, you got to write them down. Like, yes. Because you'd never remember them. I mean, that's the reality. I don't remember anything ever. I have to write things down. How about you, Creed? you have to write things down, or you got a pretty good memory there? I have the a comedy? terrible memory. Um, I have to write things down. Yeah, see, I mean, the same way. in order to start doing stand-up, I had to write material for like a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what inspires you to, to, to write your jokes? I mean, where do you find the funniest uh, um, time? When, when are you the funniest creative, uh, creatively? Um, usually it's just, uh, well, uh, I work at, I work at Coffee Topia, mm -hmm. um, and that's one where I will, like, I'm just conversing with someone, usually, like, they're 10 years younger than me or something, like, and I'm just, yeah, having a conversation with somebody about all kinds of random things and funny stuff comes out, so, like, you know, when you're with your friends and you are talking and you say something funny and there's context for that. So you can't just take that and turn it into a joke somewhere else. Right. Because um, there was a context for that joke. You had to set up. All you had to do is think of a punchline. Um, that's why it doesn't translate being funny in person to being funny on stage. Um, but sometimes I'll just do that and the, the interaction, the social interaction is usually where... It comes from. Is it is it death to kind of set it like you said? Be, you know, when you have those jokes, when you're hanging out with your friends, and and you come up with a punchline, you come up with a joke. It's in the context of, of that conversation, right? Or, or it's very mm -hmm. dependent on what's going on at that moment. So if you if you can make a good joke out of it that you want to tell on stage, is it death to kind of try to paint this picture and put people in that in that context? Is that kind of a bad thing to do? You can try. I mean, I mean, I'm it's not, kind of like forcing yeah. it, right? Yeah. Like sometimes I'll hear a comic tell a like do something on stage where they're describing a conversation that they had and then they say a funny thing that they said and mm. I don't think that that's a that's not a good joke like you're just reminiscing out loud about a funny thing that you said um, but uh, you can if it's a joke like if you just throw out a silly thing and it's kind of loose and floats on its own something else might happen in your life where that fits in to, like, I have, like, these one-liners or something that I'll write that are just these, you know, generalizations. Like, I had this one-liner forever. Uh, nobody's ever left a Coke dealer's house and thought, I should spend more time with that guy. Mm -hmm. right. It's fine. It's funny on its own. But, mm -hmm. like, just saying that, like, having that as just, like, a loose puzzle piece basically in the middle of a set where I'm telling longer stories and mm -hmm. bits and that are more complicated it's just it, it was weird and it didn't fit but then, non sequitur yeah but, um, but what if you were just to, to put a whole list of 50, 50 things like that zingers bang 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 like Henny Youngman used to do sure that'd be like a Stephen Wright style of comedy yeah. um, I'm just not, not that good so much of a writer <laughs> Uh, well, guess. there's different types of comics. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you agree, Cree, that, I mean, there's some uh, stand-up comics that are very tight to their material, uh, their written material. I think Seinfeld is much like that, whereas uh, other comics are, are much, much looser. Um, I think Bill Burr is one of them. And then you have guys like Norm MacDonald, who is are a bit of a mix. Bill uh, Burr, is he a comedian? Because I've only seen him do, like, uh, podcasts and, and more of a commentator. He does a, a lot of podcasting, yeah. That, but that's does, how I know him. Yeah, he's right. A, he's, he's very popular with that now. He's, yeah. he's probably the biggest stand-up comedian that's still active and you know 
since Louis C.K. got dethroned, I think Bill Burr. He's definitely like the biggest redheaded stand-up comedian. As far as, right as far as being part of the comedy community and also having like the respect of the comedy community, uh -huh. I mean he's idolized. yeah, Bill Burr is definitely a uh, top of the line, and he's pretty mainstream. I mean he sells out big theaters and stuff. It's mm -hmm. pretty mm -hmm. mainstream. Not everybody cares about comedy. Chris, we should ask you who are your uh, favorite male uh, com stand up comic and uh, female stand up comic. Is there a difference? I mean, it's one. I mean. Well, I'm asking her because uh, a lot of people uh, know the male comedians, and it's uh, a lot don't know the female comedians. So I'd like to give okay. them a chance and, and have her answer both questions. I think is uh, uh, valid. I mean, I can't really like narrow it down to one, but like right now, um, Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky, mm -hmm. um, they are a married couple, and they are both. Uh, fantastic stand-up comedians, so they definitely fit that category. Um, also, love Marcella Arguello. Um, she just filmed a Netflix special at the Punchline. It's not out yet, but um, that's it's going to be amazing. When it, it, she's she's so 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 funny, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, Nikki Glaser is mm -hmm. fantastic. Michelle Wolf is fantastic. Um, I love Tig Notaro. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. Janine Garofalo. She was, off, she was course. fantastic. She time, was here. Sure. Cool. Um, I don't know a lot of the older, like, classic comics. Uh -huh. um, I just don't, I just didn't familiarize myself with them when I was young. And trying to listen to that now is like, you know, it's like trying to watch a movie from the 40s. You're just like, I don't. You feel this dated? I, what this is, is what is, what's, who's someone spooky. you tried to, you tried to listen to that you, that you felt this way about? I'm curious. Um, who's the. Bruce. 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 Uh, Bruce Springsteen. No. No, we thought uh, oh, 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 I know like, you're talking. Uh, oh, jeez. Um. Lenny Bruce. That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lenny, Lenny, Bruce. Bruce. Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, he just like he broke all the walls of like well, he, he was saying stuff that mm -hmm. nobody was saying into a microphone at that time. At the time, so he kind of broke down these barriers for us. But, uh -huh. <laughs> but I hate. Like I hate everything that came out of his mouth. Yeah, I was not. I hate to say it, but I also uh, was not a big fan of uh, Lenny Bruce. I haven't heard a lot of his material, but he was a groundbreak. You got to give him credit for that. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of like a stand-up I mean, comic, like being funny, too. like being really f funny, I you know, uh, I don't think he was one of the funniest. I hate to say that. Well, then who was one of the funniest, Billy? Well, uh, he's probably I think dead, if you so. well, I think if you're gonna well, we don't want to go back because she's not really into going back that far back in time. But you know, around that time period, I would have to say that uh, as much as I hate to say it, Bill Cosby. Uh, really? It's okay. Bill Cosby is funny, funny man. I never thought he was funny. Yeah. I just have you heard his albums, Dave? I have, and I you, you know I, I thought so, so his comedy was ridiculously uh, uh, silly. I silly. I like that stuff. Really? I like that stuff. Oh, okay. Nice All right. I mean, no, I asked See, you. So different I'm not strokes for different yeah, folks, as so. they say. Yeah. Um, now, you mentioned... I secretly watch Louis C.K. videos on YouTube still, and now YouTube Louis. sends me... Like, he has he does a podcast with Jim Norton, uh -huh. and YouTube, like, sends me the push notifications when a new episode airs. Jim Norton is to, like, working hide. with him now? Yeah, I mean, Jim wow. Norton. He doesn't, he doesn't care. I watched Jim Norton recently do something, and I thought, man, he is so unfunny. Really? I was shocked. Yeah, because he's considered to be really good, and I was really, I was like, I this is not that funny. funny. I think uh, Jim Gaffigan is hilarious. Oh, he's great. Yeah. You like dad? Are you 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 like dad jokes? Well, I don't know about that. My favorite, as I've Dave, I've told Dave this many times, and the audience knows, and my favorite uh, stand-up comic, and I think it has been working for some time, is uh, the, the great Norm Macdonald. Yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. That's acceptable. Mm -hmm. Did you go see him last week? I wanted to go see him. I tried to make it happen, and I, and I couldn't do it. I was very bummed about it. Very. Where was he? He was at the at San Jose Improv. San Jose oh, wow. Improv. Yeah, wow. yeah. Uh, and you've had Kenny uh, Thompson on here before. Kenny uh, Thomas? Kenny Thomas, excuse mm -hmm. me. And he sent me a text. Says I, I, Kenny, he used to work over there at the Improv, and I was telling him that uh, Norm's going to be there. He told me a great story. He uh, texted it to me where last time, uh, I guess, uh, Norm performed there, he was doing a set, and at one point he started telling some uh, abortion material, and uh, audience got very upset. Half of them walked out. And, uh, in <laughs> San Jose? In San Jose, yes. It wasn't this recent time. This was happened probably a few years ago. So that's what I don't but, know. Um, they went to a comedy show. Right, like I know. Isn't that great? I know exactly. We're going to see Norm yeah, Macdonald, and know, they thought that their, in, like, their personal opinions and beliefs were going to be respected. It's 
it's bananas. Yeah, anyway. it, it's it's a crazy time we're living in with, with the. Oh, that, that's, that's why a lot of ways. comedians leave politics out, right? Um, yeah, a lot of them do, and you know, for the most politics part, Norm does. Uh, for the most part, see, I think Norm is working on another level. If you look at, if you can put the uh, pieces together, you can see what he's really saying. But he does not really do politics per se. I mean, I think he's also just really good at doing comedy and and not trying to tell yeah. people what to think. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And that's why I don't find politics interesting as a topic for mm -hmm. comedies because it's too loaded in its own th like all you're doing is like cheerleading basically when you're you're doing it you're saying like boo yeah. them and people are like yeah but their standard for a joke because they just agree with you now see i think you're onto low. something there it's it's something that i've complained to dave about recently with all the late night hosts you know, the late night comedy host didn't be used to be so politicized as they are now. It's like every night the monologue is like uh, it's political, just straight up like biased politically, and it didn't used to be like that. The only one who doesn't do that and uh, is uh, Jimmy Fallon, and I like Jimmy Fallon. People give him a hard time sometimes, but I like yeah, the he's guy. He's good. I like him. And uh, yeah, and it's, it didn't not, used to be like that with terrible. the late night <laughs> hosts, you know, and I, and I don't care for it personally. How do you feel about that, Cree? Uh, I don't watch their monologues, but um, uh, I, I mean, I, I love Jimmy Kimmel. I think he's great. Um, so you're a Jimmy Kimmel person. I'm a Jimmy Fallon show. guy. Jimmy yeah, Kimmel, I think. I don't is know why. <laughs> I don't know why people find Jimmy Fallon funny. Uh, I've never found him funny, but uh, yeah, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel's great, uh, uh, but I don't watch a show, and I, I don't, I don't care about how he feels about politics uh -huh. i don't think that we should care how everybody feels about politics i don't think we should care Agreed. what everybody thinks like i don't agree i don't think that people should care what i think that's just you know that's just kind of where i'm at with that and the other thing at the end of the day is like if you're trying to get your information from some late night uh comedian <laughs> Right. That's probably not the best. Place. Yeah, you're probably not doing enough <laughs> research, right? Uh huh. Well, and exactly. it's the same. It's the same eight things that were trending on Twitter all day. That's the thing too. It's like by the time the late night show comes out, any joke because they're you know they have these jokes that are written by like professional writers, mm -hmm. but it's also like every other human being went on Twitter, saw that news, whatever bit of information that happened, and then tweeted a one-liner about it. Mm -hmm. So there's already been like. 8,000 jokes made sure, about right. this thing that just Absolutely. happened. Everybody put it out there. So it's like, why are we... Have you guys ever heard that Conan O'Brien steals jokes off the internet like that? Like you're, like you're talking about? He sees those I jokes. I've never, never heard, heard that. that. I've never heard I, that. I, I have heard that so many times, dude, and, and seen examples of people putting, uh, posting tweets of Conan O'Brien really? telling jokes that were posted on the internet wow. uh, earlier oh, in the day. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he paid them, though, like if he contacted them and paid uh, them. Maybe he did. Yeah, that's I, maybe too. he did. How many, how many, I mean, they must have like a team of writers, right, these guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all the late. Yeah. How many do you think they, would, they have, four they, or five? Usually they have like at least, like at least four or five. Twelve, Sometimes there's 10 or 12. Yeah, yeah there can be a lot of writers. Holy cow. It's important. Yeah, I mean, well, think about it, Dave. Every day they're on the air and it's like you doing your show and then all of a sudden you got to do a 10-minute monologue of like, High quality jokes. Well, yeah, quote, and, unquote, and, and have it for not you easy. know millions and millions of people yeah, to enjoy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, four seven nineteen. Why do you like Jimmy Fallon? Uh, Jimmy Fallon more than uh, I Kimmel? like. I like uh, Jimmy uh, Fallon more simply because of the way that the show is handled, and it is the writing and the monologues. They don't do a lot of political stuff, and uh, it's more neutral. And it, it feels like this, it's, that's the way to do an entertainment variety show of that nature. Whereas all the other late night hosts, it's like the whole thing is politicized, I feel. Right. It's like well, way... Well, Colbert is like that, that came with the... Right. Well, Colbert, that was the nature of the show, the shtick. But now every late night talk show is like just the monologue. Do you think just, Colbert's funny, Billy? Uh, I don't care for him. Cree? I think he's, I think he's funny. I haven't, I, I haven't watched any of these shows and I don't think I've ever seen any of them all the way through. I might have seen an episode I of Colbert. I do think he's funny, though. But, uh, oh, man, on The Daily Show, he was brilliant. So good. Yeah, Strangers uh, uh, with uh, Candy, so good. Just great. Yeah, he was great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the reason why I like Jimmy Fallon is because I think that he makes a total fool of himself sometimes. I mean, just makes himself look ridiculous yeah, it, for the sake of the joke. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, he dresses funny, just does weird mm -hmm. things, and he's not afraid to go out there and, and just you know, hang himself to get that laugh, and I, I think that's great. Yeah, I think he's a true performer. I really mm -hmm. do, an entertainer and performer. He's great. And, you know, uh, to be fair, 
Um, he was never really a stand-up comedian, you know, but he was a writer. Yeah. From Saturday Night Live, wasn't yeah, he? he's a yeah, sketch guy. Actor. Um, sketch guy and writer, and but never per, laughed per se every, a, a Laughed through stand-up every comedy. scene he was in. He does, yes. yes he, he, he likes to crack up. He has a good time. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, uh, I was like, he was probably really fun to work with, but I just never. Uh, I, I also hear he's a raging. Oh, really? He likes, he likes he, to uh, uh, take yeah. a hit the bottle. Yeah, drink if there. you look at him, he looks like he's kind really? of drunk half the time. I yeah. haven't seen him recently. The show. I don't watch too much TV. Mm. Yeah, I'll take Bragging. a look at him next time. You'll I'm going to do that. I'm going to check that His, his that nose out. is red. Yeah, tonight I'm going to do that. Dave. Yeah, definitely. I'll check him out. You could be right. You're onto something, maybe. Uh, four seven nine one zero eight zero. We got about five minutes, four minutes left, because none of these clocks are right except for this we one. We got anybody on that line, Dave? No, phone lines are open, oh, Billy. Open. I think cool. we're going to go ahead and finish it off here. Well, that's excellent. Well, I wanted to thank uh, Cree Powell for coming in. It's wonderful, and you are the twenty eighteen winner of Miss KSEO. And now I'm going to reveal oh, the my prize. God. Billy, you're going to do and it. And for dude. those of you, oh my God, on Cree, the, uh, I told him not the, to do this. What? Come I, on, Dave. I apologize for him. Oh my God. Oh boy. Here we go. Are you ready, Cree? Are you? I, I, I think I'm. I think I'm ready. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we go. I mean, that's not the worst oh thing that's God. ever happened to me. Oh, there you go. Because I'm magical. That's a scepter. Yes. That's a scepter. It will it will work three miracles, um, but you have to use them wisely. Cool. I will save it for D and D because it will come in more useful. Oh, wait a minute. Plays D and D. Wait a minute. Too. Did, did you just say you play? Did you just say you play Dungeons and Dragons? I play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh Dave, my God, Dave. That oh, is, is so awesome. cool, man. That is so cool. Um, do you? I'm not like other girls. Sorry. That is awesome. You are way cooler than other ladies. Do you dress I, up while you play D and D? No. But I am going. I've been. I've been working out because I. I want to be. My character. In what is life. what is your character? What what? Well, uh, race? I'm, right now I'm playing a, a halfling, oh. a shadow monk. Yes. Um, named Toop. He's a teenage boy. Um, I of don't want to be him. I, <laughs> my character that was like my my first character, my first real character that I connected with is uh was Gale. She was a half orc. Did she die? No, we just they just made me get it. She was too powerful, so I had to. So she kind of built her own kingdom to, and went off into retirement. <laughs> Yeah, we, they were like, we're starting a new campaign, and you have to be someone else. <laughs> I always like to, like to play like I like to play like the elf. I like to be elves or like the half elf things, whatever. Yeah, uh, I don't I I don't mess with the the magic too much. I like to find magic items, but I like to just sw- you know swing a sword or a hammer or like well as a monk I just fight people with my hands, but I just like to I just like the fighting part. How about you like uh, slippery characters like thieves and, and their ability to kind of get out of tight situations? I always thought that was a cool skill. You know, you don't want to be a thief, mm. but their ability to get out, out of tight situations was pretty nice. I don't remember that. I never played the, the thief. I was always just like to be the, the wizard elf. That was my thing, Dave, to be a wizard elf. Well, yeah. nobody like likes to, it. <laughs> I've only been playing for a little over two years, so mm-hmm. I feel like it's hard to be natural and be like instinctive so i like a character that's just really simple and naive like i just make my character as naive as possible so like gail was just a dummy and she survives just by dumb luck she's just super strong she's just she was just really strong <laughs> so four seven nine one zero eight zero billy all right dave We're wrap it up dude. it's been a beautiful show it's been great. Fly 1080, Dave Michaels. I'm Billy Army. The first Miss KSEO uh, has won. Uh, Cree Pell, she is Miss KSEO of 2018, Dave. Very Yay. exciting. We did a lot of promoting for it, and, um, well, not all ideas pan out as well as we like them to, do they, Dave? You got to try, though, Billy. That's right. You, you have, have to try, try. and Cree knows that. And as a stand-up comic, the fellow stand-up one. comic, mm-hmm. you got to get out there, and, and sometimes it's scary when you have brand-new material and they've never tested it. Sunday Night Which Funnies? Gotta, is that what it is? Last Sunday Funnies at Bruno's in Scotts Valley. Um, last Sunday of the month, I believe this month it's the 26th. 